what I did here, I added some water, I boiled some water on the stove and I began to add my uh, broccoli in the water. And when I add the broccoli in the water, I added a little salt in the water. Um, then I, I cooked the broccoli for probably about five minutes, five to 10 minutes. And then I took it out. At this point, I drained my broccoli in my colander and I ran cold water over it to keep it from, from uh, steady cooking. So this is just to top, stop the cooking process. This is what I did here. Definitely want your broccoli with a little bite to it. You do not want overcooked broccoli. Uh, it will really mess your whole dish up. At this point, I began to make my sauce to put over the broccoli and, and shrimp. I used one fourth cup of water. I used about three um, stems of green onion. I just used the onion part, not the green part. I used about a fourth a cup of soy sauce. And I also used just a little dab of the sesame seed oil. And I used some minced on minced garlic and put in this and I mixed it all up together to make a sauce. At this point, I got my shrimp and I added some salt, sprinkled some salt on it, and I sprinkled some black pepper to season it. That's all the, all the season that I used was the black pepper and the salt. And I, I got my hands in there and I began to, you know, uh, massage it, as they can say, and get that seasoning all on, onto the shrimp. Then I added some butter to a pan and I... Once the butter was melted down, I added some uh, minced garlic in it. And once that got all coated together, I added the shrimp into the pan. And I cooked the shrimp until the shrimp turned pink on both sides, probably for about maybe five, two to three minutes or five minutes, and until it turned pink. And then I added my broccoli to it. And when I added my broccoli to it, I then added my sauce um, that I had made earlier and put it into the uh, pan. And I began to, uh, to, to stir it a little bit to get it all coated in there. And I may have cooked it for about maybe five minutes and then I was done.
Here, I added a little lemon juice to my shrimp. I want to thank you all for watching and for gracing my channel. I pray that this video was helpful to you. And until next time, have a blessed and prosper day. And I will see you all on the next video. Continue to watch while the music plays.